All right, so we're back here, back here, and I'm really getting fed up with this controller going back to the left all the time. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to switch it soon. But anyways, let's get over a couple paragumbas here. Just get rid of them. All right, awesome, awesome sauce. As we like to. Oh, we're already in danger. What do you know? We haven't even ran into that spiky Goomba yet. Gonna raise up to 47 star points. And we'll move on to the next path here. We got spiky Goomba! Nice to get a first strike here because then you can actually get rid of this guy because Goombario cannot hit a spiky Goomba because there's no attack that does not attack from above onto the head. So, I could show off Tattle. Basically, it tells you all the information about the enemy. Hopefully, I'm knowledgeable enough in this game to tell you that, so I'm not going to use Tattle. It'll also show the amount of HP anytime you run into that enemy again and how much it has left. But again, I should be able to remind you all these Goombas have 2 HP. And um, hopefully, I'm good enough. But anyways, here we got a badge. It's a close call badge. You might want to equip this right away because it's a really nice badge. Um, when you're in danger, which is 5 HP or less, sometimes. Um, what will happen, and you're gonna point this guy into hard block to the other side. But uh, if you're at five health or less, um, sometimes what will happen is the opponent's attack will just miss, which is really a nice feature. So it's going actually, I need to power jump on this one. That's three damage compared to one, which is really nice. And I know how to do that. It's also really nice, I guess. And he goes into that, that's okay. And I can just power jump just again, get this stuff really fast. It's a heart block just around the corner, it's not gonna make a big deal. It's not a... So, um, I'm not really wasting flower points. Also, HP and FP get dropped by enemies sometimes when you defeat them, as long as coins, as you've probably seen. And I was heading up this road, we got a springboard inside. Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move. Whoa. Haha, <laughs> you, Mario, I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way to is to build out. The only way by is through. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, but the only way by. Oh, the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. My red brother. Red brother. Anyways, I'm just gonna. I think Blue Goomba has 6 HP, Red Goomba has 7 HP. So I'm gonna take out Blue Goomba first. So that's 4 HP down to Blue Goomba. He's like, Mario, how do you like some of this? I don't really know why. You're 5 times the size of a normal Goomba, but you do the same damage as a normal Goomba. I don't even know the power jumps. Should be him. And it gives you 10 star points. You can also use that fire flower you got for this fight if you so desire. It's not a bad thing to use. This is the mini boss music, by the way. Apparently, these guys are mini bosses, but they're not really that hard. So, I don't know. There's really no way you should die during this stuff. I mean, there's no, uh, it's basically just basic, just getting used to the controls of the game, and this guy seems to have a lot of HP, but I guess I haven't been using any power jumps or anything. I might have, that might have been 8 HP, I don't know. Maybe it was 7, I don't know. It just seemed like it took forever. Yeah, let's go for now. Um... It's gonna be close, but I think you might lose that fight if you don't have the power jump equipped, but I could be completely wrong. But I don't think they would do that, but it's definitely good to have that power, bed, the power jump badge on. So let's go up the spring now, let's just save block on your side, I'm not gonna worry about it, let's just waste 10 seconds. And up here, you're gonna go get a mushroom, but oh wait, it's a Goomba! Just continue along, and this apparently is a Goomba King's Fortress, okay. Do do. Uh, let's see here. Ok, 
Okay, just checking my star piece list here. King Goomba, help us, Mario beat us up. And no one opens the door. Uh, well, I don't really know how Goombas can open doors anyways. Hey look, Mario, see that building over there? This building over there that's three feet in front of us? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge with the others. <laughs> I wonder what happened. And yeah, there's a little bit of shaking going on. Um, okay. And... Whoa! Who's this? Maybe the Goomba King? So Mario, it's true. Make it this far, I respect you for that. But unfortunately, it's as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful Goomba King, will see to you that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? Oh, this is the Goomba Bros. Who cares about the Goomba Bros? And who cares about Goombario? Who cares about the Goomba King? Let's fight. So this is your first. This is the chapter boss, the prologue boss. And it's very easy. The Goomba Bros are very weak because they just fought them. They actually <coughs> just had the stats of a normal Goomba. What you're going to want to do, though, is you have to attack this Goomba tree. You can jump or use hammer, and this big Goomba to come down as three damage to everybody. Just really nice touch. And you will get you to... Head bonk, shh, head bonk, shh, head bonk. And he just does one damage, it's no big deal. And uh, you want to use power jump. He has 10 HP, by the way. So that's seven, this is eight. We'll do one more round of attacks, and we will beat him. And he's going to use his own group that thing. It's those two damage rather than one. Like I said, you can meet this guy in three turns. It's not a hard boss at all. So he's going to drop off 26 star points, get 30, and we're up to 100 and back up to 11. That gets a level up. And I think I'm going to go flower points. And I'm going to explain the order. I'm going to go flower points, and then badge points, then HP, flower points, badge points, HP. Or I might go flower points, HP, badge points. It depends what happens. It depends where I get that next level up. But anyways, we can beat him already. He's like, yeah, I knew we could do a cool victory. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little check off right now. So there's a star piece right here. And you hit the street with your hammer. And that is our third star piece. All right. The other one is... The later move we'll get. We're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking with the move we get a lot uh, with the move we get later on. But anyway, we're gonna just go ahead and hit that tree and hit the switch and Goomba is gonna come up and like, Oh Mario, good fight and all. I, I must warn you, however. If you happen to see a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? But you already pressed it. Okay, so this is gonna trigger the something with the top of the castle. That's all I'm gonna say. And I don't just, I just don't get. So Goomba King knows what's gonna happen, right? So as you can see, you'll see him in just a second. He's there, and this is gonna be the bridge that's gonna pop out. But the Goomba King knows this is gonna happen, so I don't really know why he's standing on top. But there's the bridge, but there's the Goomba King. I don't know, like, why was he standing on the top? I have no idea. And where did the Goomba, little Goomba bros go? I have no idea. Look, the bridge, we can cross now. All right. Anyways, this, oh man, we're going to be pressing 11 minutes to get into our something I want to get into because real quickly, if you go down here, we, get, um, we go all the way down here, and I think if you hit this block with your hammer, a, yeah, hit this block with your hammer, and an invisible item is going to come up here, and it's Super Shroom, which feels 10 HP rather than 5, so it's a complete upgrade, although we haven't needed to use items at this point, and go here, and Cam Koopa's watching, because we didn't see her there at all. She's like, ah, mm, not good. Not good, not good. Any other chance here to save your progress and continue on or quit or whatever you want to do. So we're going to just continue on. we got two minutes hopefully to get through this cutscene. It's one of my favorite cutscenes in the game actually. It's what a fine line. So she goes up, she goes, she did it up, she goes up into Bowser's castle or Princess Peach's castle, mind that. And he goes into, I think this is like Bowser's room, I don't know. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evil this Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toe now. Oh god, I'm really pressing this cutscene. What unbelievable. What was the Goomba King thinking? I used a star to make him a king because he begged me, and Mario whips him so easily. What a limp. Uh, Cammy Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, dear Mario, let's try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you're holding this star rod, you're definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one time. Claw tied on your back. So, yeah, that's very good. Claw. He's like, he said that, that 
he was like asking if there was no way that, she could, that he could beat him just so he could say, oh yeah, I gotta start right. By the way, Kevin Koopa, don't start serious with Catherine, don't have any power, getting, Mario giving power. Please don't worry yourself, each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your handpicked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven star spirits. Hmm, forever. Who is the closest star to Mario? It's the one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Um, who's here? Maybe the guy's like, hi -ya! Here's the Koopa Bros themselves. Here come the Koopa Bros. Oh, oh yeah, it was cool, so cool. Um, Pshaw, get real King Bowser, yet the Goop King is huge, but he's a total win polar now, wouldn't nothing like him. See, what we got going is power teamwork, together we can put the hurt in my seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit, sell it Cooper Bros, show the King our special attack that you know so well. Yes ma'am. Ready everybody?